Okay, I think we can finally advance this dude's quest. What is it you hope to achieve with this fire gold? Do tell us. To burn the stuff we've collected, of course. Gee, terrific. Seems a bit of a waste to burn all of this. I agree. Nah, it'll be fine. Honestly, Gorg and Godfrey look the What's same. This? These look similar. Alligos are attracted by smells, you know. It's a funny thing. If we make skillful use of this, we can get them to come over here. Perhaps. Indeed, the things that we gathered earlier are giving off a certain odor. If the smell starts to waft over their way, they'll probably come over this way. We could have kicked their asses. Who cares about this? We collect up the cargo without having to fight them. We can totally take them. Is that really enough to bring them? It's fine, it's fine. I know what I'm doing. Now, let's find a good vantage point to watch the action unfold. I really don't understand why we couldn't just fight them. This makes... this part of the quest makes no sense. easier to collect what we need now. Wow! Gold, a very dependable chap! Well, thanks. But you know, I'm just doing my regular thing. your asses! Kicking your asses is just to prove a point. Mom, push them into the cloud sea. Push them into the cloud sea just to prove a point. Well, guess we're not doing that. Wow, there goes our money. You, you see, Gorg, it was that simple. We was will them down one at a time. I'm not gonna waste time with the other ones though. What? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah this is get us back up there. And you know what? That field skill thing makes no sense compared to the others. Alvin's painting. Why do we need a load screen for this? Alvin's painting. You need a load screen for that, I swear. Um, so we're going to Araya, okay. Hey, we're back with your paintings. Oh, no kidding. Thanks. 
Thanks, you lot. You're one in a million. Yes, indeed. They all seem to be safe and counted for. But now that I look at it, they're pretty poor, aren't they? I'd be embarrassed to show these in public. Nothing to be ashamed of, in my opinion. There's a saying, passion is the road to betterment. As long as you hold a passion for painting, there's no limit to what you can achieve. You think? Yeah, maybe you're right. You started getting my creative juices flowing again. I'm busy enough with my restaurant chain as it is, but me, I can set aside some time to get back into it. Hmm? Did you just say restaurant chain? I did. What about it? Are you interested in the food, or maybe the cooking? Well, as it happens, I'm sort of a confectioner compatissier. That's a new word, you could say. Compatissier there. I don't know. <laughs> That's a new word. Yeah. <laughs> an enthusiast, at, <laughs> an enthusiast at least. I try not to give it much thought, though, being a blade and all. Oh, come on. After everything you just said, now you tell me you're trying to hide your own hobbies? What happened to passion is the road to betterment. As long as you've got the passion, anything's possible, no? <laughs> Too true. You got me there. Now, how about your reward? How about I lend you out one of my shops to you? Tentatively, of course. As it so happens, one of them's occupied at the moment. You manage the shop itself, and I'll handle the upkeep. But I wanted to keep... Well, I wanted to take a percentage of your earnings. Well, what do you say? Wow, I have to say, it's an incredibly tempting offer, but I'm afraid I had to decline because, well... Now slow down. Why well, don't you take a look and see for yourself first? If you like the look of the place, my offer still stands. But I... Come on, Gorg, and at least go and see it, can't we? If you still don't like it, you can always turn down his offer later on. Well, if you insist, let's see it then. Is that the plaza near the Fonts of Mima Gate? Take your time, look around. Alright, this sounds interesting. <clears throat> Maybe this will be a, like a Merc mission. Well, wow, this is a swanky looking place, isn't it? And an excellent location, too! Swanky! You seem to be quite enamored with it. I can't deny it, I'd love to set up the shop in a place like this, but I see no reason for you not to accept Alvin's kind offer. But what are you gonna put on sale? You can't open the shop without having some kind of supplies, right? Well, I've made all sorts of candy in my free time. I thought maybe I could nestle up a few new recipes based on my past experiments. Nice, sign me up as a taste tester. But first, we'll need the raw ingredients. We can't start without those. I see. But tell us where to find them. We'll gather them for you. No, we won't. That'd be a great help. Thanks. All right. So first up, we're going to make cookies. I thought of three recipes we could use for that: hot cookies, and neon cookies, and blood cookies. Wow, they all sound delicious. Oh, I want to start off with a selection of those three and offer them to customers as samples. Gotcha. Come on, guys. Let's get moving before I start drilling in anticipation. Alright, well, this will be something to do off screen. In the line T! Where are we gonna get in the line T? End all is destroyed! Oh no. It's pretty mild, maybe slightly bitter. These would definitely appeal more to the savory palate. My one concern is the smell, it's not the most pleasant. I don't think we'll be able to put this on the menu, no. We'll need to start over from scratch. Oh, piss off! I'm really proud of this recipe, if I do say so myself. Cookies that change flavor with each one you try, and the way they crumble in your mouth. Yeah, I'm liking this. We can put this on the menu for sure. Now I think it's time we gave some thought to flans. We can't just let the cookies steal all the limelight, can we? I've already thought of four recipes we could use. I just hope one of them will be good enough to sell as a safe staple here. Why do we not have to finish the cookies? I'm confused. Oh, okay, now we're just doing flans. What? What's a flan? What even is a flan? I think it's a pancake. Okay, well, one of the ingredients to this pancake is a book titled Love Beyond the Clouds. Yeah. What the fuck kind of recipe is this? I guess it's an edible book. This game makes no sense sometimes. Well, it has a very pleasant taste, but it lacks that little something that mm, I think we should try again. Yeah, piss off. Okay, we're not doing okay, this quest. Okay, wait, a flan is more like a, a 
a sweet condensed milk. It's like a cheesecake, chest pie type of thing. Like a custard pie. Okay. Well, apparently you can make it with books. How about that? <laughs> All right, we are. It says here, milk, eggs, milk, and sugar. Okay, we're not doing that quest. Seriously, end of line T. End all is destroyed. Uh, we got a core crystal. Uh, I'll do that off screen. Um. We're going to look for the wheelhouse here in, in Argentina. Yeah, I know that the wheelhouse is its own warp point. I don't know how you get to it. I just kind of saw it on a walk, saw it on a walkthrough. Like I saw it on on that person on that walkthrough's map. So. Where would the wheelhouse be located? The other thing is, it's kind of like. Like, the part of the map, the map Bill's on was kind of below this part. I'm really curious. Let me look at the map. See, these are... See, the lower parts uh, on the selector, these are, like, the higher parts of the map. So maybe the wheelhouse is above this area. Maybe Banna's treasure would help us get in the freaking wheelhouse. Did we do the Banna quest? How do no. You go from here? no, I don't think we did the Banna quest. We got to, had to do like something or other to find the thing, you know, what's it? What's that trophy dude down there? It's one of the brother sister pawn, isn't it? Oh. We found the gold mouth wheelhouse. Uh apparently we've never been here. We've never been on this little pathway. Okay. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, no one cares. Okay. Alright, we found a new location. That is beautiful. And apparently we gotta come here to start um what's her we gotta start Finch's quest. As soon as we get her leveled up all the way, which is never gonna... Whoa, what the hell? Was it never gonna happen? I'm not really interested in any of these other quests. That one rewards you a lot of EXP, so I wouldn't mind doing that one. Okay. Alright, uh... We're gonna go kill that special enemy. And we're going to do that by resting at the inn and leveling up at long last. I think our uh, experience has built up enough. Let's rest. So then. I only do it for these three because I want these three to be in the party. Line. That was cute. <laughs> that was a slow. How do we 
could go from here. Alright, are these guys still going to antagonize us? I'm barely making it, you gotta say. <laughs> He's stumbling. He's stumbling on the edge. That's adorable. Oh, you're out. Okay. Well, I guess he can experience that in the spike then. Whoopsie! Alright, that was an abrupt button change. So Mithra's specials are, or her arts are quickly recharging. That's pretty cool. Fortunately, she's not really the blade I want to level up. Oh, that was incredible damage. Wow. And then we knocked you on down there again.
Come on, how did come on top of this work? Alright, and the final kill goes to Ursula. Good deal. Honestly, you fellas have no chance against us, seeing as we just killed your queen. Why are you guys even trying? Seriously. Alright, this is unnecessary overkill. Attacking now. Jeez, we bugs just go away already. All right. Oh, foresight. 
Uh, I just realized that. Foresight has never been a game mechanic. Like, when that was introduced in a cutscene, I thought it'd be just like the Monado, but no, it was just never used as a mechanic. That's weird. And it's plain, plain to be honest. Alright, now let's collect those uh, dragon things at long last. Dragon incense. True dragon incense. Come out, come out. In my experience. And this is normal dragon incense. Okay. Fare thee well, vampire bride Marion. We're not even supposed to talk to Ioni, are we? Ugh, gotta go to Waradain. Blades are out for this. Yep's indeed. Yeah, this is for you. True dragon incense, indeed. Got to make an infusion boil with the other ingredients to serve for three days, three straight days and nights. I'll probably fall asleep. Sisson has other work to do too. Can't attend to this constantly. Rex? Yeah, I know what you're about to say, Ursula. The courts will take the job on. <sighs> Your friends will help? Perfect. Oh, it's, um, it's a Merc mission, at least. This many botanists. Okay, this is annoying. Alright, we'll just do it. Well, we'll just do it this way. of experience for other real, our good blades. Alright, production mastery. Alright, need to pick a good blade to do this. We'll go with you. Roger that. What a waste. Alright, well, there's nothing else I want to do, so let's just go back to the world tree. So what I want to do now is kind of, uh, comb this entire tree. I want to make sure you find all the treasures and kill all the special enemies. Except maybe that big robot dude near the end, eh. And the end, of, and maybe the end of lines. At least the robots on the earlier floors. I remember, um, 
I remember the the explosive robot dude that's up here. He's guarding a chest. I was about to say, where is he? And he just decided to jump scare me, okay. Whoa, I wasn't even paying attention at all. Alright, this is going a lot easier than last time, that's for sure. Yeah, we are kind of wrecking this robot. I love it. Oh, you're gonna self-destruct, but I wasn't even paying attention to that. Oh, so unlike the other robots, self-destruct doesn't kill you. It also doesn't damage us. For so it's kind of uh, a waste a waste of a turn for you to be honest. Alright, that was really easy. <laughs> easy peasy. I could have taken them all off. And you just stood there and watched, you lazy camera. Treasure acquired. Oh good! Good thing we had Gorg out. A hypertech made easy. What? Alright, this sounds like something we're going to use for a side quest. And now we're going to kill you because you were lazy and didn't help your friend. I don't even think these guys can fight, they're just like security cameras.
And your name was Haywire Radcliffe. Radcliffe. Set down to the lower quarters now. How do we go from here? So let's look at our core crystals. Hmm. Eh. I'm just gonna wait till we get more more from this place before I go on a a blade binge. <laughs> Of that tedious process of swapping out for Wolfric. <sighs> also, wouldn't mind finding a secret place here. Like, the only secret place in the world tree is the one that you have to visit on the main road. So, for all I know, there's probably not going to be any more secret places here in the world tree. Which would honestly be really disappointing. I'd really like to find a secret place in the world tree. It's the dawn of a new day. Oh, okay, yeah, th this is where the motorcycle enemy is. I don't even remember if I showed this dude on screen, but, yeah. There's also a chest there. So yeah, that motorcycle right at the start there, he's a special. Dang it! Oh! That would have been so cool if I could just walk around him. Kind of want to lure him away from the others, but oh well, who cares. Whoa! I think when I was trying to push uh, the, the shoulder button, I pushed the A button by accident, and that's what caused, caused this special attack to trigger by accident. It's like he only has brakes for a brief second. That'd be really tricky to pull off the topple there, but it'd be pretty cool if I could, though. Now that's a natural break. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, I'm wrong. Maybe I did show this guy on screen, I don't know. Well, we're gonna kill him now. Oh, so close to toppling him, dude.
Oh my god, okay, now the other ones are attacking now. I just love watching that attack, it's so beautiful. What? He's dead. Did that actually kill him? I feel like I feel like he zoomed up just now and he killed himself. How did that end? That was really weird. Exterminate the other writers, I guess. That was a weird ending. Alright, we defeated Familion. Feels like he just kind of ran the wall and killed himself. Hi, Mr. Camera. There's nothing up here. That's disappointing! There's just nothing up here! Was it just that chest? We could have easily gotten that chest by climbing up the ladder, which we did! I need to have taken away the ladder, whatever. I don't take away the ladder, because ladder isn't really helpful in this game. That was an interesting post-battle dialogue. That was really cute. This is Ursula singing a little song. Okay. Is this where the other special dude is? I know there's one of those other robots that we can fight. How much money do we have? Alright. We need like 300,000 before I can level up Shiba again. So I... Unless uh, the, fi the final area has like a ton of chests. I don't really see that happening. Yeah. Yeah, up there, I think. That's where the special dude is. Yep, right there, right on time. No real point in that attack because he's the only enemy here. It's basically an attack that forces us to target him, but he's the only one here. We tried, we could knock him off the edge, but it seems kind of hard to.
the hey. I wasn't looking, honest. You just keep entering my field of vision, is all. Uh, okay. Alright, we leveled her up, good. I think my conversation skills have improved. Alright, I didn't think he would just fall off on his own accord, but I'm fine with it. Idiot. Oh, good, but now we can look at her heart to heart. Obviously, that didn't count as a kill because we don't have the time recorded. That's a shame. Well, at least he's, uh. He's technically erased. It's another special one you gotta worry about falling. Alright, now he leveled up. So where do we have to go for her? All right, Fonza Mima. Again. to our home. Well, Alright, there's something I'd like to talk to you about. Really? What kind of thing? It's, well, look, why don't we go to the Fontamima Commercial District? And I'll tell you there. Very well. It's just right behind the land marker, okay. Simple enough. Alright, it's up there. This looks like as good a place as any to have a proper chat. So, what did you want to discuss? Well, listen, Morad. What do you think of me? Well, um, I was wondering. Do you think I'm feminine enough? If this is a come on, I I'm very flattered. But you know like my room, right, Andrea? A uh, lesbian? I must admit, I didn't take you for. Well. <laughs> oh, Moira, you're so funny. confessing my love or anything. I just wanted to ask you about my femininity. Really? You came to ask me about femininity? You dress like a dude, but you're so pretty. You must know a thing or two. Your hair, your skin, your nails, all these so Fine tonic and freshening gel, specially prone for gentle. Mm -hmm. Titan oil hand cream also has been very useful. I see, I see. I'll ask Zeke if he can buy some for you too in future. What? No, don't do that. Oh? Let's keep 
keep this on the down low, okay? Nobody needs to know. That had nothing to do with uh, our new blade. Was that? What? Was that just a total coincidence that they both had a heart to heart here? That was a total coincidence, wow. Hey, you know there's a really nice uh, front of your tree around here. We could head over to Blossom Shake Cliff and take a look. That won't take long. Please, come on, won't you come and take a look? Oh, hi. <laughs> that was just so random that they both had a heart-to-heart -heart there. Yeah, yeah, generic blades, good for your development. All the way up there, alright. Whatever. 